Hi right, guys, so I wanted to show this uh, solar power generator system I built. Uh, as a comparison, I just wanted to bring this up. So I've seen lots of these on YouTube of these do-it-yourself portable solar power generators uh, that are you know put on hand trucks. And you know the advantage of these is it's uh, still small enough that you can say put it in your pickup and go camping or something like that and this is you know a cheaper alternative to an eco pro system that you can buy um, but i wanted something a bit more um, like a, a home you know emergency power generator so that's why i built this thing so this is the new eg4 power pro battery which is slightly larger capacity than a Tesla Powerwall. And this is the new EG4 6000 XP. I don't have the cover on it right now. I just got it working last night. Um, and right now it's on battery power only. I don't have it connected to the grid. And I have my generator outlet plug right here. This is my grid power in to charge the battery and so on. I don't have solar panels at the moment, but obviously I can hook up solar panels to this and I will eventually do that, but I don't have any. So to charge the battery, I plug it into the grid and this is my generator outlet and I currently have that connected to my generator inlet plug in the house that connects to my critical load panel and I'm running right now off of that and at the moment, I'm uh, taking, I forget how many watts that is, I can't see it at the moment, but anyway, it's, I think it's around six or 700 watts at the moment. Uh, it's connected to my furnace, a couple appliances in my kitchen, my TV, things like that. So anyway, this cart here is um, like a list of parts, some of the major parts. Uh, for this cart. So all this stuff, uh, this is called 8020 extrusion and the size of uh, profile this is, this is 80 millimeter by 80 millimeter. So it's, it's a pretty beefy extrusion. You can get much smaller stuff than this, but this is bigger because this, you know, this battery is about 310 pounds. This is about uh, 35, 40 pounds. And, you know, I've got these plugs and things connected to it and the cart itself you know this whole thing is probably close to 400 pounds so uh, anyway this extrusion you can buy on Amazon uh, these lengths that I have you can buy pre-cut on Amazon the other place you can buy this is called automationdirect.com they sell it and you can buy it in any lengths that you want pretty much and it's actually cheaper and it ships if it's over $50 uh, the order is over $50 it ships for free from Automation Direct in two days it's kind of amazing uh, but I realized that later so I bought some of this stuff on Amazon and it comes directly from China so it can take a week or two weeks to get uh, but then I realized I had to buy more pieces, some more of these uh, cross members here. And so I decided to try Automation Direct and they have more options available. So uh, the only difference between the two is the profile is slightly different. Like these groove sizes are a little bit different than the Amazon one, uh, but it still all works. Um, they're, you know, they're interchangeable. And uh, I bought the casters from Amazon and these end plates to cover up the you know sharp edges I got actually from Automation Direct because you know, I couldn't really I think Amazon might have them but anyway uh, so these are you can pause the video to to read all this but um, you know like the first item it's an 80 by 80 extrusion that's 1,830 millimeters long that's the 1830. And then these cross members are 455 millimeters long. And then the two go, that go this way are 610 millimeters long. And I've got this aluminum sheet at the bottom for the battery. Um, 
and yeah, so the aluminum sheet is sitting on top of these two cross members that are 455 millimeters long. Um, and I'm actually missing one of the cross members here because I have, now that's a hand drawing, it's, it's a bit out of scale. So I've got two here that hold the bracket for the battery. So this battery is totally secure. It's not gonna fall forward or something like that. And then I've got two more to hold the inverter itself. So there's four there and I've got three down at the bottom, the base. And then I also bought some, I think this is, uh, I don't know, 2030 uh, extrusion profile. I can't remember now, but anyway, I got this on Automation Direct too. And this is to hold my breaker panel. So I've got a breaker panel for the all the power coming out of the inverter. So I've got my 30 amp breaker that powers the generator outlet plug, and I've got a 15 amp for this power strip here. And you know, if I wanted to have a few more, I can do that. Uh, this is just a small breaker panel here. This is a 50 amp inlet from the grid. It's probably oversized, but that's okay. Um, and the reason why I got 50 amp is because all these breakers in here are 50 amp. And I don't really understand that because the load out, it can, it, you know, it can only do 30 amps max. Well, I think it can do a peak for a short period of time bigger than that, but I don't know why these are all 50 amps, but so that's why I sized that to 50 amp and I actually sized all the wiring for 50 amp so it's bigger than it needs to be but it all fits in the lugs and everything. Uh, so, and this, uh, this whole cart is very sturdy. It's got the casters that I mentioned and it has these uh, brakes here. You can, you can rotate, you know, jack these up and there's a pad down here that hits the floor and then it won't roll and it makes it nice and stable. Uh, but you can move it around if you want, like I, you know, currently have it just sitting in the middle of the garage. Um, so that's it, I think. I, and I'm pretty happy with this. It, you know, it took me a bit to, so I've never had a solar inverter before. This is the first time. And I have the manual for this, but trying to set up how do you charge the battery from the grid. And so it really is not straightforward, even with the manual. It took me a bit. I had to do some YouTube searching to figure it out. Uh, but I got it, I got it working. And I have this now set up for what's called time of use because here in California, uh, I, we have a, a plug-in hybrid. So from our utility, we have special uh, peak and off-peak rates. If I didn't have a plug-in hybrid, then I'm on a tiered system. Uh, but anyway, I have a off-peak and on-peak uh, rate system here for because of the car that I have. So I set it up so this charges the battery during off-peak time, and then during peak time, it'll completely disconnect from the grid and only use the battery. That's what I'm hoping that I can do here. So we'll see how this works, I don't know. And then eventually I'll get, you know, uh, solar panels plugged in to help supplement charging and maybe I can have uh, the critical load panel in my house just be running off of this all the time. That's what I'm hoping.